Welcome back to Drone Week, guys. This is the episode number three, and it's me again, Erika Firmo. I will be your host throughout the day, and we're back at the G Technology Center, and the lab you guys just saw is our digital solutions lab. Right there, our researchers, they use ultrasounds and also x-rays to scan some industrial parts, for example, jet engines, and also, um, Let's see, oil and gas pipes. And this is what you guys are going to see today. So today we have this very different uh, story to tell you. It's about the unexpected connection between healthcare and oil and gas. I know a little bit about it because I used to work on the healthcare business before. So it's going to be special. It's going to be cool. Send your questions because today we have something special to you guys. In case you are watching us from the US, we are going to give away one drone. You just need to send your questions to Facebook and you can be selected, okay? Send your questions, it's gonna be answered live by the end of today's show. And right now we are heading to the oil and gas lab to show how our ultrasound technologies works. Uh, follow us. For the athletes competing in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, it takes nothing short of a lifetime commitment to make it here. Planning, training, hoping. But what happens when untimely injuries occur? The Olympic Poly Clinic is a low carbon footprint on-site medical facility powered by GE Healthcare designed to provide accessible and immediate medical care for the competitors. GE MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound devices are used during pre-competition checkups and to diagnose injuries. More serious injuries are then rushed to the state-of-the-art America's Medical City Hospital. This innovative medical complex is equipped with GE Healthcare technology at the ready for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. GE X-ray and ultrasound devices like this one give doctors a window into diagnosing and treating what ails an athlete and aids in making decisions that impact their lives as well as their athletic careers. Like many GE technologies, the science behind these innovations has applications well beyond the medical field. GE uses the same science when performing diagnostics on its aviation and oil and gas products around the world. By using a combination of X-ray, tomography, and ultrasound technology, GE can generate diagnostic data and address anomalies before they turn into problems. In the laboratories of the Brazil Technology Center, these same diagnostic technologies play a key role in the monitoring and maintenance of subsea equipment. The sharing of technology between industries like we've just seen with healthcare and subsea diagnostics, has led to something we call the GE Store, a method of exchanging ideas across disciplines to help drive innovative breakthroughs in seemingly unrelated industries across GE. And now, let's head back for a live look at how this diagnostic technology is being used in subsea applications. Guys, we are back from inside this huge oil and gas lab and this is where we test our oil and gas pipes. It's a very cool place and with me today I have Lilia Modolo. She works at GE for the oil and gas business and also Emma Painter. Emma works for Rio 2060 and she's responsible for the medical services. Lilian, can you tell us what we have inside this lab? Yeah, sure. Uh, here you can see a lot of these pipes, flexible pipes, that we use for subsea uh, to extract oil from the ocean, bring to the platforms. 
And here inside this lab, we do tasks to guarantee that they will hold the pressures they have to take in under until like 3,000 meters. So we have a chamber to simulate the pressure they would need to take. And when we install them, uh, we know how they would behave. Okay. Thank you. And Emma, uh, I just watched it on the video, the polyclinic that will be available for athletes during the Olympic Games. Can you talk a little bit more about it? Sure, the, the polyclinic is the hub of all of our services in the Games where we have a pharmacy service, we have an emergency department, we have physiotherapy, sports massage, we have eight dental, co dental consultation rooms and we have an ophthalmology service. And of course we have the imaging service with two MRIs, ultrasound and x-ray. Nice. And Lilia, someone told me that we do have an ultrasound here too, almost yeah. similar to what we're going to have at the polyclinic. Uh, well, let me just show to you. Uh, this really is a, a, an ultrasound for industrial applications. So the way it works is similar to the ultrasound for healthcare for humans. Uh, we drive an ultrasound wave. This equipment drives an ultrasound wave through this material. And once it hits the other, the opposite edge, it bounces back and the equipment is able to capture that. Uh, if somehow there is a crack in between or there's a lack of material, we'll have an unexpected answer. So I will see at uh, this uh, display here uh, and I will be able to take a decision if I want to remove or to fix or uh, still work with that equipment. So for example here, I'll just scan just so you can see some uh, examples of the images we, we are able to, to show. Uh, it's really similar to, to the healthcare. Uh, it's only that here we are like finding disease inside a pipe, okay? Uh, another equipment that we have, uh, it's um, a video scope, okay? So this here is a probe. It has a very small camera at the end and I am able to articulate it to be able to go to uh, inside an engine and do inspections. Here, for example, I'm just going to show um, what is inside this structure here, just to give an idea of what, what you are able to do, okay? So here you can see, uh, for example, a corrosion inside this structure, the same way we'll do into a, a patient, okay? Thanks, Lillian. Guys, in case you are watching from the US, don't forget that you are eligible for, to win a drone today. You just need to send your questions and we will answer them live in a couple of minutes. Emma, are we going to have similar uh, equipment as this one at the polyclinic? We are indeed. We've got two ultrasounds in the polyclinic which we use to uh, detect disease and illness in the athletes so we can fix it and then they're able to perform to the best of their ability in the training and in the competition. We also have uh, 11 uh, extra, uh, ultrasound machines in the competition venues for the high-risk sports, such as equestrian, such as rugby, where we would be using the ultrasound to allow the athlete to return back to compete as quickly as possible in the competition and do the best they possibly can in the Olympics. <laughs> nice. Lilia, I just thought we have a panel over there. What is that? Yeah, uh, this is a digital radiograph panel, okay? It works pretty much similar to the one we use in, at the clinics. So I, this one I would, for example, x-ray my hand. I place the hand here. Now what I'm going to show is how we would x-ray a pipe. So we just place it here. The x-ray will come from this side. And the image I would get is from the inside of this pipe and be able to evaluate if there's any crack or weld, if the weld is well done, okay? Lydia, I just saw in the video that we had a similar equipment being uh, used to scan an athlete. Is this the same one? Yeah, actually the, the technology behind is the same. It was developed in GE Healthcare uh, and we adapt to the industrial use. Mm -hmm. So in, in general, it's the same uh, technology. Okay, thank you. Guys, keep sending your question. I see a lot of things coming. Don't forget, in case you are sending them uh, from US, you maybe you will win our drone. So just keep sending the questions, okay? And um, question to you, Emma. Are we gonna have similar technologies at the polyclinic? We will, we will have x-ray in the polyclinic, both to detect problems and to, pre to help prevent them. And they all help in collecting our statistics about the injuries and illnesses that the athletes get during the games, which we will be inputting into the GE ele electronic medical record system as well, which will help keep control of all of the, the illnesses and injury that athletes have throughout the whole games. 
Okay, thank you. And uh, we have a lot of questions coming. Okay. First one is for you, Lillian. Uh, someone is asking, uh, is this ultrasound technology we, so, uh, we just saw, is it able to be used on site underwater? Um, yes, it depends on the application, but for example, I could use this to inspect a pipe that it's already underwater. Of course, the equipment needs to be uh, protected, but I could do inspection to, for thickness or to uh, identify problems underwater. OK, sure. thank you. Another question to you. Uh, who asked it? It's Brad. He's from the US. He's asking, can the phaser ultrasound technology be used for oil field drill casting to inspect wilts? To inspect what? Wilts. Um, to I'm welds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this technology is actually a lot. Uh, the most common application is to inspect welds. So we actually uh, try to understand if the weld was well done and if we can approve to to whatever application can be this application or any others. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Another question to you, Lilian, is from Daryl. Um, okay. He's asking about the gel. He wants to know if it's used for the industrial ultrasounds. Is the same one we use on humans? No, of course not. <laughs> no. This this here has no. It's not prepared for a human skin. For example, it can cause allergy for someone, and it actually has. Sometimes we need to add uh, agents to prevent corrosion on the pipes we're inspecting. So it's a specific um, design for industrial application. Okay, okay. thank you. Question to you, Emma. Um, someone wants to know uh, what is the size of the polyclinic and how many athletes can we take care there? So the polyclinic is over 3,500 meters squared and it treats all of the athletes who will be staying in the village, which is 10,500 athletes for the Olympic Games. A huge number of people. It's huge. Um, another question to you, Lilia. It's from the US. What are the other applications that um, the ultrasound or the X-ray have? Different applications. Okay, we can use X-ray for example to inspecting aircrafts, uh, aircraft wings. We can use videoscope to inspect the engines. Uh, the ultrasound can be used for pipes or can be used for casting to inspect the uh, um, uh, uh, automotive part to see if there are voids. So it's a uh, uh, almost infinite type of <laughs> kind of applications. <laughs> Thank you. A question to you, Emma. Neo is asking if G is using um, tech. What kind of analysis technologies is G using for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games? So the main technology we're using for the Olympic Games is the GE technology, which is our two MRI scanners, ultrasound and X-ray, and also the ultrasounds in the venue. As well as this, we're using the electronic medical record system, which will help connect the whole games together. Can you talk a little bit more about the MRI system? So we have, we have two MRI scanners for the games, uh, 1.5 and 3.0 MRI scanners. And the idea is that if the athletes have any, any suspected injuries, that they can use these to help them perform better uh, throughout the competition. Uh, they can be used by referral from team doctors and also be used by the, the medical volunteers that will be working in the polyclinic as well. Thank you. Lillian, question coming from the US again. Ben is asking, what are the other industries that use technologies from G-Store? Um, well, uh, this type of technologies we use, of course, in G within GE oil and gas, but GE Aviation uses them, G Transportation to inspect the, the parts in the locomotives, uh, also in G Power for gas turbines, we use this type of technology. So almost all GE business are able to use. Nice. Question to you, Emma. Uh, someone is asking, what is the electronic medical record system that will be available at the polyclinic? So the electronic medical record system is an online system like a hospital medical record system where you enter all the patient details uh, about every treatment that an athlete undergoes. This is in the medical posts of which we have 120 across the whole site of the Olympic Games and the polyclinic. So for example, if an athlete went to a medical post for some treatment, it would all be registered in the medical encounter system. And if the athlete then went for further treatment in the polyclinic, the, the physician treating them would be able to open the information and see what treatment had previously previously been done. So it's a really good way of tracking athlete injury and illness throughout the games. Thank you. Thank you girls. That was our last question. Okay. But no worry, we will be back tomorrow. We will be live in the middle of the Olympic Park. Actually, we will be at the um, where all the transmissions for the, the 
Olympics games will happen. So tune in tomorrow, 1 p.m. Uh, in case you are in North America, EST time. In case you are in Brazil, we're gonna be live on 2 p.m. Also follow us on Snapchat for behind the scenes, General Electric. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.